Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from Stanway PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. Uh, as you remember, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to configure the Odroid to run headless. So that way you don't have to uh, hook up the HDMI to a monitor and all that. You can actually control it now from your computer. And right now, this is where I am right now. I'm connected to my Odroid in this shell. This shell is from my PC, and this is my root shell. So the first things we need to do is go into my GitHub page and just copy and paste all of these things. This is everything that you see here you're going to need if you're going to be doing a lot of Python development and OpenCV, you can do a lot of Python applications. So if you are going to be using a lot of Python, I recommend that you do all of these. In the next tutorial, I'll, I will do the same, but for Java. So I didn't want to make these tutorials too long, so I broke it into two tutorials. For this reason, let's now take care of the Python one. So let's just do copy and paste. I made it really easy for you to follow along. And that's all you need. So it's, it's going to do an update. It's going to do an upgrade. And it's going to install all of the libraries and that you need in order to download the big guys. These are the Python development ones for Python 2 and Python 3. So that's they're all in there. In your case, it's going to take a lot longer, of course. And then in the next, next uh, step here, we're going to get pip. I seriously recommend that if you're doing anything Python related, you do it through with pip. Don't use the packages that come with the distros, with the Linux distros. Just make your life easier. Use pip. So this is where you get it. You go here and you just hit enter. I'm not going to hit enter because I already have it and it takes a little bit long. So you can see I have it there. So I'm not going to hit enter. Actually, I have a bunch of get pips, as you can see there. So I got to remove them, but I'll do that later. So now what's the next step? Well, let's go here. And now you're going to build get pip pi. So all you do is copy and paste, nice and easy, clear, and just copy and paste, and then run that command. Like I said, I'm not going to run it. Actually, I'll run it just so you know what it looks like. And it's going to tell me that I already have it, as you can see, requirement already up to date. And where it's located, it's located in the user local lib Python 2.7, these packages, okay? So now, once you do that, you're ready to install the Python stack and ready to install NumPy, SciPy. If you're going to be using, you don't have, you don't need all of those. But if you, if you're a Python developer and use a lot of Python applications in OpenCV, it's nice to have, but they take room. So, so you need to have a, a nice, uh, nice size uh, uh, SD card or a EMMC. So just pip, and it's going to tell me that it's already satisfied because I already downloaded all of them. So they're all there. And now we're ready to test Python. So let's go Python. Let's just test Python 2. So all you need to do is Python, and there it is, Python 2.7. So now let's import NumPy to make sure that we have it configured properly. It is SciPy. It is import uh, matplotlib, and it is. As you can see, they're all there. You exit. Now let's uh, do the same with Python 3. So in order to open Python 3, just do Python 3, just like I did. And now it opened Python 3. So let's do import NumPy. The most important ones are NumPy and SciPy. So those are the ones and import SciPy. And there it is. So all is good. So we're ready to go with OpenCV 
and Python. So in the next one, I'll, in the next video, I'll show you how to do uh, Java. But uh, I don't, I didn't want to make these tutorials too long. So this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.